What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. It's pouring rain outside today and I'm getting prepared to go fishing Mako this weekend. Don't really know yet, but uh, I got a lot of tackle. I'm gonna unbox and go through, show y'all what I got <clears throat> for the upcoming season. Some stuff that I just wanna try out, see how it works out. I bought, there's some stuff that's proven I bought a lot of and then there's some like what's in this package i just bought one of just to test out and to see what how it does for me so y'all stay with me we're gonna get right into it all right i'll leave a link down below to some of this stuff that i can but some of it i can't i found really good deals on if you shop around that's a good thing about it if you shop around you can find really good deals on tackle any time of the year not just when they're having a sale but uh, if this is your first time to the channel Please hit subscribe, ring that little notification bell down there, and uh, you'll be notified when I put out any videos. I'm going to try to start pumping them out here very soon. I got uh, some rods I'm going to unbox, and, or untube, however you want to say it, and I got some reels coming. I got a huge tackle warehouse unboxing I'm going to do, but uh, if y'all like tackle unboxings, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let's get right into this unboxing. First thing on the, on the, this is actually unbagging, but first thing is, I'm, I've been wanting to try one of these. If y'all haven't seen Bass Geek channel, you need to check him out. Uh, he really likes these and I wanted to try one out just to see how, how they was. I got this off Amazon, so I'll leave a link to it down below. It's a TRC rod cover. The end of it. It's supposed to have foam in it or something, and it floats. I'm not really sure about that. It don't feel like it has no foam in it. But I can already tell you the ends of these are they're really hard, so I don't know how you get a rod broke in this, but if these really float, I would like to know how because they don't have no foam in here, or this one don't anyway. I don't even know what line cutters is, but... There it is. This is my first ever TRC rod cover, so I'll do a little test on that and check it out and let y'all know. Next thing is a huge back of tackle. First thing is a green pumpkin TRD crawl. These are awesome Ned rig baits. Here's this finesse TRD, peanut butter and jelly. Great color. Uh, my favorite Ned Head's eighth ounce. So let me know down below in the comments what's your favorite uh, size Ned Head. This and here's a motor oil TRD crawl. Y'all probably know what most of these already look like. I've never seen the motor oil. They're like a translucent. That's really cool. Then we're gonna be deadly on a uh, weedless Ned. If y'all haven't seen my weedless Ned head video, go back and watch it. I'll leave it linked down below. I'm a huge fan of all the Z-Man stuff. Here's a green pumpkin orange. Uh, black and blue. Some of these has got price tags on them. It's not what I gave for them, but. Here's a green pumpkin TRD ticklers. These are awesome. They got like little tentacles on them. It stands up under the water. I guess this imitates a crawl. Junebug Finesse TRD. Green Pumpkin TRD Crawl. I told y'all it's a big tackle unboxing. There's plenty of stuff. These are bat wings. I've never tried these before. They're uh, like a chunk. If y'all tried these, let me know. If you've had any success on them. You just tear them apart. Just 
put them on your jig. If y'all have any success on these, let me know down below. With all the rain we're having here in Kentucky, that black and blue right there will be a good color. And then there's some more stuff down in here, but it's not Z-Man products. It's actually Strike King. Here's a Strike King Rage Crawl Plum Crazy. Man, I love plum color. That's one of my favorite colors. Caught some really, really big ones this year on it. Here's a Rage Menace. It's a green pumpkin sapphire. I have pictures to all these in the video so you can see them a little better. This one's called Bama Bug. This is a Rage Tail Structure Bug. Watermelon Red Flake. Rage Tail. Rage Crawl. Like I said, they got prices on them, but this is not what I gave for them. I actually got this whole lot as a really, really good deal. Here's a Chartreuse Pepper. Here's another Plum Crazy, Rage Crawl. Here's a Dirty Crawl. I've never seen one of these. We'll take one of these out and look at it together here. So it's kind of a brown with green flake. I see some red flake in there. Never seen this color before, but it's a really good natural color. I love Strike King stuff. They come in this clamshell, keeps all your baits straight. Here's another watermelon red flake, Rage Crawl. Here's a here's one called Double Header. It's a Rage Crawl. Never seen this color before either. We'll open one of these up so y'all can get a better look at it. And I got one more bag to go through and then. Okay, this one's kind of like a watermelon red. Should be a good clear water color. This lot right here, it's amazing. I got all these Berkeley Generals that I'm gonna show you for like 30 bucks. And you know how expensive they are, so. And they're all the same color, so I'm not gonna pull any out of the bag or, or none of that stuff, but they're all baby bass color. Berkeley General, I love. I love to throw Cinco style bait in the spring, early spring. So I got one, two, three, four, Five, six packs of the Berkeley General Max Scent five inch baby bass for 30 bucks. Like I say, if you shop around, you can find really good deals. And then I got a few more baits in here and we'll be done. They got these for A Rig or Kai Tech Easy Shiner. These also be good on a ball head or something like that. That's a chartreuse from white. Here's one called the light hitch. Looks like a Tennessee shad kind of color. Here's another light hitch. These be good on an A rig or like I said, a ball head. ReeriversTackle.com is where I got this stuff at. And I got it for a really good deal. Y'all check them out. Just got it off eBay, shopped around. And then here's all the stuff that they carry. Y'all check them out. And then I got these for my uh, cheddar baits. I got three of the same color. So I got one of them already open because I was checking them out the other day. 
These are fire crawl. These are uh, four inch. Get my big fingers out of the way. If y'all want to see how to make a homemade body jig, I got a video for it. But uh, I've come up with a better way to make one that's closer to the original chatterbait. So if y'all want to see that, let me know down in the comments. But I got these to go on my fire crawls. And I got uh, one, two, three packs of those. So let me know what your all's favorite trailer is on the back of a chatterbait. Uh, mine is a swim bait or a big bite swim on, cause a kamikaze swim on. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate it. Y'all hit subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you know when we put out another video. We're going to be out smashing on them very soon. And uh, appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next video.